So could the Chicago Bulls be trading away Zach Levine to the Milwaukee Bucks this 2024 NBA offseason? Well, here on the screen is a trade proposal or a trade idea for FadeawayWorld.net. The link to this article is down below in case you want to check out the entire thing uh, for yourself. But this trade would see the Milwaukee Bucks receiving Zach Levine and the Chicago Bulls receiving Chris Middleton, Margin Bochamp, and a 2026 first-round pick, either their own uh, or from the New Orleans Pelicans. So in my personal opinion, it's honestly a pretty good trade for the Bulls to make, if you ask me. Zach Levine, individually speaking at this point, is probably the best player in this deal. Uh, and if you were the Bucks having a big three next year of Zach Levine, uh, as well as, you know, obviously... Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo and uh, you know Damian Lillard. It's a little bit older in regards to age, I guess. Uh, I guess you're getting a little bit younger with Chris Middleton being sort of up there in age as well. But uh, it's a pretty lateral move if you ask me, swapping Chris Middleton for Zach Levine. Uh, but if you're the Bucks, you could be getting back the best player in this deal. I think Chris Middleton's best days are behind him. Uh, injuries have been a problem as well for him. So uh, perhaps in the short term, I guess maybe a change of scenery for Zach Levine might not be a terrible option. But keep in mind as well, Zach Levine, as seen by a lot of NBA teams out there, has one of the worst contracts in the entire NBA. So if you're able to flip that uh, into Chris Middleton, or I guess flip Chris Middleton, uh, Margin Bochamp, and a first round pick for Zach Levine, that's a little bit too rich if you ask me from the Bucks perspective. So if you are the Bulls, you're getting back a pretty similar player, you know, a little bit up there in age, declining a uh, big contract in Chris Middleton. Uh, Margin Bochamp could be a nice player for this group, no doubt. And getting back a first round pick, um, either from the Bucks or the Pelicans, both teams probably will be in the playoff hunt, I would imagine, in 2026. It's honestly some pretty good value, if you ask me, in regards to trading away Zach Levine's contract. So for those reasons alone, I, I think the Bulls win this trade just by a small margin. Uh, is this going to be a blockbuster move by any stretch? Probably not. Uh, it probably favors the uh, the Bucks in the short term if Zach Levine can perform well. But I think in the long term, uh, if you're the Bucks, or sorry, if you're the Bulls, and you're able to get rid of uh, you know Zach Levine's contract, get back a draft pick, a young player and a pretty similar player. That's a pretty big time dub in my book, if you ask me. So, uh, you know, I think my you know my personal opinion is that the uh, the Bulls win this trade. But as always, leave your thoughts down below.